Hello, y'all. This is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus, and today we'll look at Proverbs 4.22. For they are life to those who find them, and health to one's whole body. This is tied into 4.21 and 4.20, which is originally talking about the words that are being said in Proverbs, the wisdom that is being given by Solomon. When I was researching this verse a little bit, um, I was looking at some of the original Hebrew language, and I'm not a Hebrew scholar, but they were talking about the end of this word, the whole body really translates into flesh, but when they're using it as the flesh, it, they used it as a single word instead of the plural, which according to how it read, they really probably should have used the plural, but by using the single, of this word. It implies a completeness of the whole restoration. So it's talking about restoration of the whole body. And I just love that word, restoration of the whole body. When we break all of that together, it's really saying that God's word, when we take it in and we receive it, and we hold on tight to it, it will bring a restoration completely to all of us. And I think there's a lot of times there's doubt that that can happen. And I think the reason that there's doubt that that can happen is because of our time frame. And this idea that maybe the past can't be changed. God may not change the past exactly. Like he might not raise people from the dead who have passed away or give you the exact job by, back or make sure this situation looks exactly the same. And there's been hurts that have come from those. But I do believe that he can bring a healing. He can bring a restoration. He can take all those emotions that we felt, the grief, the anger, the bitterness, um, the disbelief, the not trusting. And he can slowly work those out. But to be honest with you, I think to work through all those emotions takes time and us continually seeking God's word. And just like it said in 421, we've got to keep it in our hearts. We got to keep it in front of us. And as time goes on, if we keep doing that, then we find this restoration in our spirit where whatever did happen cannot be undone. There's a different view in our spirit and our hearts, and it doesn't come with any bitterness, anger, sadness, depression, fear, resentfulness that some of us feel like we have to be stuck with because we can't change that past and not realizing God can bring a restoration. So I pray the Holy Spirit took the Bible verse today and has really encouraged.